So a problem many people, the autistic, and or have other disorders like ADHD, and I don't like the term disorder, but we're going to be using it here for medical reasons, is interoception. I n t e r o c e p t i o n, and that's your ability to sense how much you drink, um, or not. Sorry, to sense your inner body. And it's condition, hunger, drinking, need to go bathroom, balance, and more. And this may include drinking, which is very important for hydration, especially because we're more like autistic people and others who have comorbidities that makes not drinking even worse. Besides all that issues going on, some people just have demand avoidance and they just don't want to drink because it's a demand on them. And this is, they feel like a motivation because it's boring. So here are some ideas I have to help you better stay hydrated by making it less boring in ways and other ways. One is that to make a drink that changes tastes in a variety of ways. And you could do that by having a powder that you could add or something that you squeeze into it that slowly adds more and more flavor or different flavors. Maybe even design a bottle of water or something that you have a separate little container that, separate little part of the water that you squeeze, and if we want to add a little jolt of certain flavors or chemicals. And beyond flavors, you could add stuff that makes it effervescent, which means like bubbly, or something like that, because there's drinks that do that. Beyond ones, you maybe even smell, maybe even colors, maybe even just the text and how it feels. Another idea is to make what I'm going to call edible drinks more, because some people enjoy the act of eating more. And edible drinks will just be something that's like a gel with an outer coating or something like that. It is mostly water, and your body can absorb the water from it, but also it has some texture. And beyond the texture, also might even have taste and stuff that could be highly customizable, even something that you could build at home with, different flavor packets or something, and just prepare it. And maybe you have a machine that prepares it for you in a variety of different ways. Or maybe you can sneak it in with other stuff. Another idea is maybe you have a, instead of having like a thermal flask or something that keeps in heat and stuff, you could have a flask that actually has a way of heating up. So that can be quite, it's quite efficient sometimes to heat up liquids if they're enclosed and the heat doesn't escape into outer air. This could also get rid of some of the boredom because you can stop for the cool drink and heat up when you want to heat up and so you get constant stimulation by constantly changing its properties. Or if, if some people want it cold and some people want it hot, maybe you can better compromise that way. Hotter drinks also might have certain advantages depending on illness and cold drinks some, sometimes advances. Hotter might be better if you have to get rid of mucus and stuff like that, or through the throat at times, but sometimes colder is better if you're feeling too hot or something like that. Another idea is to add simply a bubble mechanism to this whole thing. So when you're eating or drinking, the whole thing just makes a lot of little bubbles. Um, now, if you're bubbling from the air bubbles, you can't um, have the same bubbles as like CO2. CO2 also dissolves in the water, and CO2 also meaning they can pack more and more bubbles and more gas. See, they also pressurize their plants so they can see a lot more pressure. So unless you have a really tight cap and wait a little while, that won't work. It also, um, CO2 is acidic and adds a little punch that way, which can vary with exact formulas in the drink. You could do more nitrogen bubbling, which has a more silly, smoky, uh, smoothie texture according to many, but um, w w but you would have to figure out a filter to cut out the oxygen or nitrogen from the air, which they exist but are not that compact yet, and they're pretty energy intensive. But it still might add a little fun with some of the bubbles and foam, especially with certain drinks that might be itself a more foamy type of drink. Yet another idea 
is just to have a hydrator reminder, some type of app or device that just reminds you, please drink. We don't want to <laughs> please drink or something like that. And it can be something very noticeable to something like just a color change on your phone screen or something. Yet another idea is to make um, a hydrator sensor. And there's a couple ways we can do this. One is that your sweat changes composition depending on how hydrated you are. So something that could measure your sweat one. The electrical conductivity of your skin can also change, but it's not as reliable as sweat. Now the problem with sweat is that weighing and stuff you also have to figure out how to get rid of, so you also might need a little pouch or something, or if you wet from other means. Another way that's more advanced, doesn't require you to be sweating and stuff, is to have it so it um, signs a light and the light goes a little bit through your skin, and then the, you use that skin to measure that to see if you, how much water is in your blood by how thick your blood is, and so on and so on, and what chemicals are in your blood. This could also give you a lot more health information, how much oxygen is in your blood, your oxygen, and a lot of other ones that are just plain useful. That one would take more development, but would have a better, and also has some errors. If you combine with a sweat one and electrical conductivity skin one, you can get a pretty accurate one that also could look at like your pulse rate and stuff. But you also have to figure out how to make this work for different people's skin tones and stuff like that. But um, some of these lights that we're using penetrate pretty deeply down, so they're not really skin tone dependent. Some of them are more. And then you have a variety of lights that kind of cancel out the errors, and then you can adjust it for a specific skin tone by looking at like baselines of the individual pretty quickly. An even more advanced one would be something implanted in the human body, but that's getting a little iffy, unless it's you have a real big health concern. On the opposite end of drinking more often, a reminder to maybe pee more often or something like that might also help out. Because the more you go to the bathroom, the more you might drink afterwards, the more you might feel the urgency to drink when you should be needing to drink. So, pee reminders might be that. Beyond pee reminders, just making bathrooms friendlier. From more inclusive, LGBTQ plus, to babies, to cleaner, to quieter toilets, all might make it better. And also more disability access. Another one is to make it so you, people that need extra nutrients in the body have these nutrients slowly dissolve in the body. And this might help the body not need as much water because the nutrients don't uh, I, I, um, the opposite concentrate as much at once. And that means that the water can stay at a lower dilution more time, and your body might not have to work as hard also to use and process the nutrients. So that's an idea right there. Also something that once I want to point out is some people use a lot of water for diarrhea or for more liquidy poop and stuff like that. So looking at how to make the poop more solid and stuff might also help them lose less water in the first place. I, that's actually kind of how cholera and a bunch of other diseases kill us through the diarrhea, for a gross fact. There. Also, helping your body have better muscles to squeeze out in the digestive tract and stuff, you might be able to make it recover liquid more and lose less liquid. And one of the final ones is just looking at how to make people sweat less by having cooler buildings having shady places outside, counteracting global warming, I mean, having clothes that keep you cool better when you're hot. All these things might all help people down. And the final one is maybe, that I want to say is maybe, it's not only maybe combine this, 
I mean, you can combine different flavor packets, and so on, so on. And I think these will all combine in a very much synergistic manner, because every little bit will make the experience more and more great or fun, at least. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. It really helps turn out. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers in a year and four thousand watch hours, so I can better start monetizing this and help with my disability and donate to my community. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. Or ideas for future videos. And again, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.